I know you've been working on several infrastructure as code tools, maybe Terraform or CloudFormation, or you have built several projects in your journey as a DevOps engineer or as a cloud engineer. Now, managing some of these resources is a little bit challenging or showing someone that you have experience in Terraform or CloudFormation is another challenge. The focus of today's video is you having a project repository where you can store all your source code or where you can store all the projects you're working on and how you can use these projects to give potential recruiters or to share your experience professionally. Welcome to DevOps with Mike. Today's video, we will focus it on GitHub as a project management tool for DevOps engineers or as a code base management tool for DevOps engineers. I've talked about people having or someone having a DevOps portfolio or they were having a project repository where you can pitch the project you've worked on in our past videos. So this video is focused on you understanding what GitHub is, why you should have a GitHub repository and of, and of course walking you through creating your own GitHub repository and putting up your first project in your GitHub repository. So you want to watch this video to the end so that after the video you have a GitHub repository which you can share with me in the end of the video. If you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button right away and thank you for watching our content if you are already a subscriber on our channel. There's something very special for you as well. You want to check the channel description to get the link to join our DevOps community where you interact with other DevOps professionals and you have access to DevOps resources from me and my team. GitHub Project Repository is an online hub where you can store all your projects, you can store your documentation, and you can store your processes which you may have had in the course of your experience. And equally, if you have collaborated with teams on other projects, you can store some of those projects in your GitHub Repository. Now, why is it important for you to have a GitHub Repository? Most job interviews, they want to understand the skills which you've used. Some other recruiters want to see projects which you've worked on. And the best way for them to have a feel of your expertise is for them to see projects projects you've already implemented and you can easily pitch those projects in a repository like github so github gives you the ability to put all your resources or all your projects which you already worked on in that project repository now for companies most companies which you are going to be working with as a devops engineer or as a cloud engineer have project repositories as a version control mechanism so they basically control the recent release of their code files and collaborate with their developers through github so you want to understand github and how to collaborate with github perhaps how to download source files from github how to work on github on your local system and equally how to push your modifications or your code modifications onto the cloud or onto the github main account or main brand so guys let's dive into github now to create your repository so you can get the repository at the end if you follow this video to the end make sure you comment with the link of your repository in the comment section of this video and perhaps i can give you some further tips on how to make your repository more customized and more engaging you're going to be sitting by a project repository right away on github so make sure you have a valid email address you can log into and then get right onto your google browser so once you're on your google browser you type github Dot com and it will take you to the github official website you take github let's build from here so you click on this it will take you to the official github site as well as you can just click on sign into github maybe you can open this in a new tab or you can take less click from here we take less click from here we take less click from here it will introduce you to the github official website now once you're on github and you don't yet have an email address you don't yet have a github repository what you do is you take sign up you click on sign up and they're going to give you details on how to set up your repository now once you're on sign up here you see this small teleprompter will come asking you for other details now you see they're saying welcome to github let's begin the adventure basically it is you beginning to set up your project repository now they're asking you for your email so you enter your email i'm going to set up i'm going to enter my email so you sign up you put your own email the email that you have access to or the email which you want to be sharing do your interviews after you put your email, press continue or you click on continue. They're going to ask you for other further steps. So I'm putting devil to mic. Now they're going to ask you for your password. And of course, when you'll be typing, you must the password, but you can put in your own password. So I'm going to type a password. So you put in your own password. If you want to view, you can click here to view the password. There's a small button by the side which you can click to view the password. And they're going to tell you if your password meets a particular convention which they have so make sure it's at least 15 characters or at least eight characters including a number and in lower case so already mind those things so when you click that you continue and now you put a name that you want to have when they're searching you on github you want that they should see you with that name and of course there are roles which you use so i'm just gonna put maybe my own name so you want to put a name that you're comfortable with 
So I put my name, then I'm gonna take continue. Now they say username may only contain alpha numeric characters with a single hyphen and cannot begin with an or end with an iPhone. So you have to make sure you follow the convention. So um I put my own username. So the username is not available. If you put a username that's only been taken, they're gonna signal you that that particular username is available or not. So you press continue. And then after that, they're going to send you a verification mail in your email address. So you go to the email address that you are using or that you use to sign up for GitHub. So you open that email. I'm going to open my email here. You want to open it in your own personal space because you don't want to open confidential information for everybody to see. So open your email. You'll, you'll see email that has been sent to you on your email. So once you click on create account, that way to send you a verification email. So you want to log into that email and check the verification which they are going to send. So GitHub is going to send you a verification email on your Gmail account. You say unable to verify your account, capture response, please. If you have capture issues, you want to see retry, so you continue. So you create a password, press continue. And you take no if you don't want to get emails. So they're going to give you a short puzzle which you're going to use that puzzle to get yourself really to set your account up. So click on start puzzle. We'll be asking you basic questions. So you want to finish this puzzle because once you finish this puzzle, then will like notification email be sent to you. Feel free to read all the steps that the puzzle requires and after doing that. You're going to receive a mail in your email where you have to go to your email now and verify your account. So I click on create account. So once you click on create account, they will send you a verification code in your email. Once you click on, once you enter the code, the server will automatically validate. So then I will ask some other small questions. Definitely, the account of the greater. Welcome to GitHub. We are glad you're here. So you're going to get more details about your team. So maybe I will just say my team is two or five persons. And uh, I'm a teacher or you're a student, whatever the case, I'm thinking, I'll take down a teacher. You continue, you may see a student or a teacher, whatever the case. So you set that up and you get yourself your account. So you ask you the kind of things that you're interested in using when you're setting up your repository. So you want to see maybe you want to do collaborative coding, you want to do automation and CI CD, security, client applications. So you just highlight or you just tick all the boxes and you have access to some of the key features which GitHub offers. So once you check all these boxes, you click continue, or if you don't want, you can skip personalization here and you don't need to do all this personalization. So once you do that, it gives you this landing page. So it ensures that you've successfully created your account. You can continue for free or you can apply for your GitHub teacher benefits. I didn't name that subsequently. So let's continue for free. And once you click on continue for free, you see that they are initializing your dashboard. Initializing your dashboard basically means you have created your first project repository so this is what your project repository looks like you will see discover interesting projects and people to populate your personal new feeds they'll put your user profile which you can set up uh, subsequently they'll put different things so this is basically what the interface looks like you can come here you see more details you can configure you can configure your profile you can configure your repositories you can configure your projects and all of that as well as you can create repositories you can see so the purpose of this video was for you to create your first repository so we have created a new repository once you click on create a new repository they're just going to ask you details about the repository. We have to do it different videos to work through GitHub entirely, but this video is just for you to know how to set up that project repository. So as you click on create repository, they're going to ask a repository name. So maybe we'll see my first project. Now, if you want this repository to be publicly accessible, you click public, but if you want it to be privately accessible, you allow it on private. And if you want a file which people can use to easily know more about the repository, you can add, you can add a readme file. So after choosing to add a readme file, it's as simple as that you create your repository and then your repository has been created you successfully created your first project repository you have my project repository now once you're here you can start uploading so once you watch a full video on github you know how to upload projects into the repository being able to set up a project repository on github they will be mine and we have our first repository my first project to set up your project repository and leave a comment once you complete that process thank you for watching this video to the end the focus of this video was basically making you understand what github is having a github repository that you can use to share with your recruiters or that you can use to share with your hiring managers and you creating your own github do well to comment in the comment section with the link of your created repository and i will maybe send some further tips on how you can customize your project repository thank you for subscribing to our channel and if you not yet subscribe hit the subscribe button right away to be a part of our community and equally i have a link to my dev community in the description section so you want to check the description to join our community and access a ton of resources which i provide to those in the community thank you so much and see you in our next video